In this presentation, we will take a look at multiple choice questions related to flexible budgets and standard costs, going through the questions and then practicing test taking skills with them. First, a word from our sponsor. Yeah, actually we're sponsoring ourselves on this one because apparently the merchandisers, they don't wanna be seen with us. But, but that's okay, whatever, because our merchandise is, is better than their stupid stuff anyways. Like this CPA thinking cap, for example. CPA thinking CAP, you see what we did with like with the letters? And this CPA thinking cap is not just for CPAs either. Anyone can and should have at least one, possibly multiple CPA thinking caps. Why? Because based on our scientific survey of five people, all of whom directly profit from the sale of these CPA thinking caps, wearing this CPA thinking cap without a doubt, according to the survey, increases accounting productivity tenfold. Yeah, at least. Yeah, apparently the hat actually channels like accounting energy from the quantum field ether directly into your head, allowing you to navigate spreadsheets faster. It's kind of like how in like the matrix when Neo learns Kung Fu, or at least that's what the scientific survey's saying. So get one, because the scientific survey participants could really use some extra cash. If you would like a commercial free experience, consider subscribing to our website at accountinginstruction.com or accountinginstruction.thinkific.com. First question, standard costs are A, actual costs incurred, B, present costs for delivering a product or service under ideal conditions see present cost first question standard costs are a actual costs incurred b preset costs for delivering a product or service under ideal conditions c set by the irs d preset costs for delivering a product or service under normal conditions and e the same for companies in the same industry let's go through this again using the process of elimination standard costs are either a actual costs incurred now the standard costs aren't normally the actual costs they're kind of more like the budgeted costs. so it doesn't seem like a would be the answer b says preset costs for delivering a product or service under ideal conditions yeah, it sounds kind of reasonable. We'll keep that one for now. C says set by the IRS. Now, anything that's going to be set by some kind of regulatory agency, whoever that agency might be with regards to managerial accounting isn't normally the case because managerial accounting is typically for internal decision making. So I'm not going to say it's C. You're going to cross out C. D says preset costs for delivering a product or service under normal conditions. Now, note that B and D are very similar we have very similar uh scenarios between b and d and therefore we might think that it would be one of those two answers e says the same for companies in the same industry and i'm going to say probably i mean it might be similar but probably not d or e let's go through this again between b and d so the standard costs are either b preset costs for delivering a product or service under ideal conditions or d preset costs for delivering a product or service under normal conditions our keyword then being normal versus ideal and typically the standard costs will be under normal conditions we typically want to put the standard costs in place for the normal conditions uh, so that we have those standards that are something that we can compare to and that if we base it on ideal conditions then it's going to be something that we'll never actually achieve it's an ideal that's not exactly achievable in uh, practice because there's always going to be some conditions that will be normal to practice that will allow, not allow us to achieve the ideal so d is the final answer standard costs are d preset costs by delivering a product or service under normal conditions next question expected costs to be incurred under normal conditions for production of a specific product or to perform a, a specific service are a variable costs b fixed costs c preset costs d normal costs or e standard costs 
Let's go through this again using the process of elimination. Expected costs to be incurred under normal conditions for production of a specific product or to perform a specific service are variable costs. Now, the variable costs are going to be those costs that change as production levels change. And that's not really what we're looking at here. We're looking at the expected cost, kind of the, what we think is going to happen, something like the budgeted costs. So it's not variable costs. Fixed costs are the ones that stay the same. And again, it's not really what we're looking for because what we're looking for is not the behavior of the cost. We're looking at the kind of the expectations. The next one says preset costs. And that sounds kind of closer to what, what we're thinking about here. The expected cost to be incurred under normal conditions. Preset costs, maybe. D says normal costs. And that's another term that sounds like it could kind of apply expected costs, the normal costs. So I'll keep that one. And E says the standard costs. And again, it sounds like a similar term. It's preset, normal, standard. They all sound like kind of uh, the same type of thing. I'll keep that one for now. We'll go through this again. Expected costs to be incurred under normal conditions for production of a specific product or to be perform or to perform a specific service are either preset costs, normal costs, standard costs. Again, all three terms sound like they could be uh, something that we could name this type of cost, but the one that we typically are using here is the standard cost. So these are going to be the standards, the preset costs. So final answer. Expected costs to be incurred under normal conditions for production of a specific product or to perform a specific service are E. Standard costs.